Hey guys, Chris here from Mixdown.online. Now, if you're new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss a thing. Now, um, for this Q&A session, I got an email from Dean asking me, Hi Chris, I'm coming to you because I can't find the answer to a Cubase question on the net. My song tempo is at 82. I have a part that is technically challenging on guitar, so I want to record it at 75 BPM. When I change the tempo back, the only way I can find to keep it at pitch is audio rap. Can you tell me how to do it or point me in the right direction? Thank you in advance, Dean. All right, Dean, so very simple. Okay, the way I do it uh, on my side is not too complicated. So now um, I have a session here with uh, some, some guitar tracks that I'm going to um, import into another session, which is going to be faster. So this one is at 95 BPM. So let's just listen to what we have. Okay, just a basic acoustic guitar part. Okay, so now um, the other session I have is at 105, I believe, BPM. Okay, so um, I want to actually um, time wrap this uh, this section, this uh, guitar take, uh, to a faster BPM into my other session. So what I need to do here in this session, um, so this is going to be the session you're going to record your uh, your um, your guitar take at 75 BPM in your case. Uh, what you need to um, to keep in mind is uh, you need to, to keep in mind the starting point okay and the end point of um, the part you're gonna bounce okay to the other session um, so what I have here I'm gonna what I did here I selected this entire part okay and I just clicked on the letter P as in Peter and now my locator is now set up to uh, the length of uh, the uh, these segments um, so now uh, first things first I need to um, set up my uh, my start point so my start point is at bar number two okay my locator is already set up to bar number two um, and now my end point uh, is set up uh, right now at you know, between uh, uh, a bit more than the bar 65. So what I'm going to do here, I'm just going to drag my locator, my right locator, to the next available bar, okay? Uh, so in this case, bar 66. Uh, now I'm going to solo the track I want to bounce. So in your case, it's going to be your uh, guitar track. Um, and I'm just going to bounce it, basically. And then I'm going to write guitar and then two and 66 so my starting point bar and my end bar okay so uh which is bar number two for starting point and bar number 66 for um the um the end part all right so now let's open the other session okay so now i'm into the other session uh, which is set up at 105 bpm okay 105 bpm uh now i'm gonna import my uh, guitar track there you go Okay, cool. So now the first thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to set up my wave here to uh, the um, uh, the starting point I have, so which is uh, the second bar. Okay, so um, I am going to drag my file to uh, the second bar for my start point, and now I'm going to set up and work on my end point here, okay, uh, which is supposed to be 66. Now, um, it is almost at 70 at the bar number 73, which is normal because the uh, the BPM is at 105. Um, so what you need to do here is you need to click on the object selection tool on top, make sure this is activated. But if you click on it, you have other options. Or if you just click twice on your shortcut, you'll get to the sizing applies time stretch, okay, uh, which is the one you want to select. Um, now, you'll see it's going, to, it's going to be the arrow with the small clock uh, just beside it. So if you click on the shortcut, uh, you can just um, select uh, all three different options. So the one, the one we want is the time stretch option here. So you just drag your uh, the end part of the segment down to 66. Okay, to bar 66, because this is where we uh, it was originally at uh, in the other session. So now let's listen to what we have with the click track. All right, let's go in the middle. It's still on the click, perfect.
So there you go, not too complicated. So something you need to pay attention to is when you play with time stretching, okay, when you time stretch a sound, um, you're modifying the wave. So you will, um, you will in a sense, uh, destroy the sound. So now the, um, the less time stretch you do, the less you're going to destroy your sound. But at some point, it's going to be audible, okay? It's going to create artifacts. So if you time stretch too much, uh, or too, you know, too fast or too slow, you're going to hear some artifacts because you can do the same slowing down. You can actually take the uh, the actual wave and slow it down to any tempo. But when you slow down a wave, it's even worse. When you speed up a wave, um, now it's a bit less audible to a certain point, but you, you can get to a point that uh, you're going to create some artifacts. So you need to pay attention to this. So you need to just to listen if uh, that bothers you or not. Um, so in your case, Dean, if you're, uh, I think you're passing from 75 to 82, so that's not that bad but just pay attention to this. So this is it for this Q&A session. Now, if you have any other way of doing the same thing in Cubase or any comments or any questions, you can leave them below or directly on my website at mixdown.online. All right, guys, I'll see you next time.